changes. Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And I kind of wanted to make a video tonight about a story I just saw. Uh, it's spreading on social media like wildfire. And it's about a 22 year old Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, Amazon van delivery driver who finally decided to quit his job by leaving his Amazon van in the parking lot of a gas station, calling an Uber and going home and just being done. He left the keys in the ignition, the packages in the back, it was over, he had enough. And so I wanted to bring up this story because a lot of us as Amazon sellers or eBay sellers, or even on the flip side as a buyer of people that buy stuff and expect our materials when we order them to show up here in one day or two days or same day or overnight, we really have this expectation of employees, especially the delivery employees, the warehouse employees who pick and pack these orders, the eBay people who you know strive to get this stuff out to us quickly. We have this expectation of them that sometimes we forget about just how hard some of these people are working. So I wanna take you over to the story. I wanna talk about it. I wanna go down the story. And then I wanna open up a question and an opinion and kind of a poll in the comment section below. So after you finish listening to the part where I screen share this in a second, what I want you to answer me for this is, do you think that this country's economy or this country's circular pattern is worth what we put these folks in the warehouse, the pick and pack, the warehouse shippers, the drivers, all of these people through in order for us to live in a world where we can get our products today or tomorrow? Is it worth it? We've all become this now, now, now society and somebody has to support that society. Somebody has to support that now, now, now. And a lot of these people are doing it. Now, some of them make pretty good money. I've heard anywhere for drivers can make six and seven, 800 a week, up to a thousand or 1200 a week. That's anywhere from like 35, 40 grand up to 50 or 60. That's not a bad income, not a bad living, especially in some areas. Detroit, not exactly at the top of the earning scale. So. They do okay, it's not amazing, but again, I've heard they work from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., 12, 14 hour days. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about how many hours they work, about them being stressed out, about the bad working conditions, supposedly, that we've heard about some of these locations and buildings? Everything you know about this industry as a whole, being a buyer, or from the seller side and what we know and expect, or if maybe you've worked for one of these companies or if you know somebody that works for them or somebody that is in your friends or family is an Amazon warehouse worker or delivery driver, I just wanna hear it in the comments below after I'm done with this story. So let's go over, let's check it out. I'll show you what happened with this delivery driver and then I'll be happy to read through the entire comment section a little bit later. Let's go. All right, directly from Detroit Free Press, Frank Witzel, sorry about your name if you watch this published on July 1st, so that's today. 22-year-old Amazon driver Derek Lancaster quit on Monday, which would have been two days ago, June 29th, abandoned the delivery truck, the Amazon delivery van, at a marathon gas station in Lathrop Village, Wochit, which I guess is in the Detroit suburbs. He said, so much for the Amazon smile. I didn't think it would get over 10 million interactions, told the Free Press Wednesday morning. I thought it was going to get more like 50 likes and 20 retweets and call it a day, but it struck a chord with many people. In fact, he's gotten Twitter messages from folks telling him they're inspired to quit too, but he added that wasn't what he expected, nor was it the reason he took to Twitter. This does not reflect the high standards we have for delivery partners, Amazon said in an email to the Free Press. We're taking this matter seriously and have investigated the matter and are taking appropriate action. Among, among the grievances that led Lancaster to quit, he said he was late getting to his sister's recent graduation party because he was working and felt constant pressure to deliver more packages and faster. He said after he left the van, he called a lift, went home until he came home to his senses hours later and returned to the gas station and waited for someone from Amazon to pick up the van. He also got back on Twitter and posted a live video about why his job and mental health was not worth the 15, 15 hours. So at a 40 hour job, uh, $15 is 600. So about $620, uh, a week, maybe 700 if he's working some overtime, 800, not a ton of money, a little bit, but not a ton. Uh, he originally tweeted at 2.50 p.m. on Monday using obscenities. He added that he left the van at 12 Mile in Southfield and it's full of gas with the keys and the ignition. Probably not the best idea. So that's actually criminal, I think, because he was entrusted with that merchandise and he essentially put it into uh, harm's way. If it had been stolen, I think he would have been responsible 
because it wasn't, I think he might be okay. They're definitely going to fire him, although he quit, and they may fine him or hold out pay. I don't know what's going to happen with that. I'll have to look at it again. He identifies as a Michigan native, um, graduated from Lincoln High, and is now attending Oakland University. Under the tweet, uh, someone else, a photo of a van in the comment, bro here, he wasn't lying, and another photo of the inside of the, of the van full of Amazon boxes imprinted with the company's signature smile. Uh, a lot of people said that it was jokes, but it was confirmed. Since the pandemic began, Amazon workers nationwide have called out sick in protests and held rallies that they work in unsafe and harsh working conditions. So all things that we've talked about on this channel and seen before. Some of these people work for third-party companies, not actually Amazon. He has an Amazon vest on. It looks like he's actually an Amazon employee. We'd have to check on that, but I'll link the story. You can read it below. Again, use the comments. Let me know. Do you think that this was a good idea by him? Bad idea? How should he have handled it? And what do you think about the way that workers are treated, especially the warehouse workers who we've talked about not even having time to go to the bathroom and that they basically urinate in bottles because they don't have time to work, uh, walk the warehouse. And then the delivery drivers who uh, Derek here said he works normally 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. a day, five days a week. So that's 60 hour work weeks. Um, I don't know if their salary or if the hourly stops at overtime or if they get time and a half, don't know about that, but time and a half would probably be about 800 bucks for him. So that many hours, 800 bucks, you wouldn't catch me doing it. Anyways, I want to read your comments. I'll look for them later. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.